Hi there guys, how are we all doing? I uh, hope everyone, everyone's keeping safe and looking after yourselves. Um, before we go any further, I will say I am on my own in the woods. I'm only about 10 minutes from the house, if that. But I am on my own, so don't worry about social distancing. I'm not breaking any of those rules. Well, not to my knowledge anyway. Uh, I came out today because basically, the, um, as many of you may know, the laws for fishing golf have been relaxed so people can go about those hobbies so I thought to myself well go for an hour's exercise in the woods I'll take my stove with me and have a coffee just chill out and that's what I've done I just couldn't wait any longer to be honest with you I just had to get out I'm on my own no one's around so doesn't get much better than this for social distancing that's my argument anywho I'm not going to waffle on about that I'm getting to a lovely argument about that, which I've seen on Facebook no end of times recently. One second, guys. Ah, uh, balls. Whoops, my language. Must have spare. Yeah, I've been told uh, I've got to stop swearing on my videos. Mm, I will try. Oh, knackers. That's better, right? Yeah, back. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, where was I? Crap, yeah, I've come out. Obviously, I just had to get out now. Like, I know a lot of wild campers like myself, they've just had enough, they want to get out. So, I thought, well, I'm not gonna really stretch it, even though um, a lot of people say, Oh, go for a stealth camp, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not doing that. Uh, if I had my own private land or permission land where I could, I would. Probably like anybody. So, uh, yeah, I've come out today, uh, lunchtime. What I've done, I brought my little stove with me, fire shield. I'll show you that in a minute. I've uh, got some, some of these from Farm Foods, three in one coffee, ideal for camping, perfect. I've also got, <gasps> and I found them after bloody ages. I, used to, I normally do all my shopping in Aldi. They used to stock them, now they don't. I haven't done for months. But I found my favourite again. <sighs> I'm happy. I'm a happy man. Got my brats. So yeah, I'm gonna cook them over my little uh, stove. Got some that's a must for my hot dogs. I'm not having the skinny jar things hot dogs. No way. That's not happening. But that is a must for any hot dog. Mustard. And Coleman's. I've also brought out with me today my Ridge Monkey pan. Uh, that'll be this will actually be the very first time I've used this to cook. So I use that today. Got some fry light stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, should be good. I have a cup, few cups of coffee, lunch in the woods. What more do you want? Yeah, I know. A night in the woods. <laughs> um, but I am hopeful the laws will be relaxed enough soon enough so I can get out. Um, I know there's arguments against it, but as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not getting into that, this COVID-19 bloody pandemic and all the conspiracy, I'm not getting into it. It just fries my box. I'm sorry, it fries my head with what I read on Facebook. So I'm not getting into it. Anyway, um, I will bring you back in a bit, guys, once I've got my first cup of coffee and talk to you later. Toodles. Look at this, absolutely disgusting. If you come in the woods, people, pick up your crap and take it home with you. It's not rocket science. I mean, come on. Cans up there as well. There's a pallet over there. It's gotta be kids. Gotta be kids. They don't give a damn around you. They really don't. Oh well. I'll, uh, on my way up back to the house, I'll, uh, pick up this little lot. Take it home with me, bang it in the bin. Disgusting. Finally got my coffee. Yeah, a little accident with the stove. I wasn't videoing that. Because I would be the laughing stock of certain groups, wouldn't I? 
So I'm not doing that, and I'm not going to tell you about it. If you're a big enough pillock as it is. But anyway, yep, got my coffee. Not as good as uh, percolated coffee, but hey ho, it's wet, it's nice, I'm out in the woods, I'm a happy man. Um, some of you may know, uh, well, those of you in the Mac and Wanderers, um, the other day I sorted out all my camping gear, which I did, pulled my cupboard right apart, not literally apart, pulled everything out, and uh, sorted it all out. Got everything in the boxes, which I'm pleased about. Um, bagged up all my sleeping bags, emptied my Bergen. So that's just empty now. Um, what I am going to do when I go do finally get out on a wild camp again, which I am hoping will be soon, as I said, I'll uh, be writing a list of what to take and um, taking out taking out what I need. Bang, bit by bit, you know. So yeah. Trying to be a bit more organised on my wild camps now. But there's nothing like this. It's lovely. I've missed this. I had a lovely surprise this morning too. Woke up about half past five. Don't ask me why. I always do particularly in the summer months, always up early. But anyway, woke up half past five, got my coffee on, as you do. And I was looking through my phone, came over, looked on my YouTube channel, 88 subscribers now. Last week I was on 83. So, to all of those who have recently subscribed to my channel, thank you very much, guys. Uh, I do hope you enjoy what you see. Um, I unfortunately I haven't been out obviously like many of us I've been in lockdown but I am hoping that'll change for you and I'll be able to get more videos up for you to watch as I always say in my videos if you see something I'm doing wrong or a better way of doing something feel free to tell me I'm in the comments I'm not gonna take offense or anything uh, the only thing I won't tolerate is abuse I've had that once before and that person was swiftly removed but uh, I'm open to advice from uh, from anybody regarding this, as you know, I'm fairly what just been doing it just over a year now, this sort of thing. So I'm still pretty new to it all. Anywho, a big thank you to them, and uh, yeah, I was actually blown away, really blown away by that. I'm getting close to my goal of 100 subscribers, bit by bit, getting, getting there slowly but surely. So. Yes, guys. Thank you. It means a lot. I know it too many people it doesn't, but I thoroughly enjoy what I do with the YouTube, with my YouTube channel. I do. It means a lot. Thank you. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a bit. There we are. Finally got my brats on at last. Yum, yum, yum. However, all glory aside for myself for coming out. <laughs> Yeah, that comes with my bridge monkey, doesn't it? Yeah. What did I do this before I came out? Pack this bloody thing as well. Honestly, I really need to keep checking my kit or remember what I got in my kit. But anyway, I think I'll stick with this. It's easier. There we are. That's my little setup, guys. My little folding camping stove. Uh, I got the shield up because it has been quite breezy in this area today. So save any accidents, but you know, try and uh, keep the flames protected as much as possible. And uh, do me lunch. Two hot dogs. Lovely stuff. Yum yum. All right, guys. Um, yeah, just have my lunch. Um, two hot dogs, bratwurst, sausages. Perfect. Absolutely amazing. I wasn't going to film me eating. That's the last thing you want to see. Trust me. Uh, yeah, cooked them on my uh, little folding stove. I didn't want to start a fire today. Because obviously... <coughs> excuse me. The way things are. 
all you want is the wrong person on the wrong day and you've just got a boatload of trouble so I didn't want that so I just used the stove small fire with it you know it doesn't uh, it don't have a great big raging infernal I just got another, myself another cup of coffee now I'm gonna chill for a little bit just I know you can probably hear on the phone some of the traffic but you know I'm only what 10 minutes from the house but I'm just chill in the woodland for a bit just uh, relax but anyway uh, it's not gonna be a long video um, obviously with the um, lockdown still in effect to an extent I can't do much more than this unfortunately I am hoping to get a couple of ghost hunts in this year as well um, so no, I will be doing uh, vlogs on them uh, a couple of people have asked me about that before and uh, things life got in the way and it just didn't happen unfortunately and then obviously this lockdown came into effect and that buggered me up even more so yeah so I'll be doing that um, definitely be doing some wild camping this year um, I planning now to get out as soon as they, we're allowed to I will be out in the woods I will be doing my first proper solo uh, I'm a little bit undecided as to where I'll be doing it, um, it either in this woodland here uh, which is about 10 minutes from the house or I'll drive 8 miles down the road and go to Camp Fubar uh, those of you who don't know what Camp Fubar is uh, it's a little camp uh, a couple of friends and I set up uh, in a woodland called the Smilog about 8 miles that way uh, have a look on my previous videos guys you will see it there so yeah that I, I don't know where yet um, I'm thinking here because it's closer but the, <laughs> as you can see behind me it's like that and I'm not exactly the fittest bloke on God's earth so I don't know yet but either way I will be getting out and I will be doing a solo and yes I will be videoing it and for a certain somebody who asked me a little while ago yes I will video myself putting up my hammock and tarp that time it will be on a time lapse though but I will put my do myself do a video myself putting up my hammock and tarp okay you know who you are anyway guys I will uh, leave you for a bit now I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee just veg out for a bit and I'll bring you back just before I go uh, a massive massive thank you to all my subscribers the old and the new massive thank you keep the likes coming guys um, keep the comments coming in brilliant anyway guys I will catch you in a bit just before I leave I'll just give you a quick pan around the area where I'm sat now to show you I've left no trace and I'll speak to you in a bit toodles hi guys excuse my hands I got my gloves today stupid uh, yeah just finished packing away now um, this is where the cans and the plastic bag was got it by my stuff now ready to take back for the recycling do my bit for the planet uh, when you go out in the woods come on take your stuff home with you it's not rocket science just spoils it for everybody else and can endanger the wildlife so please if you're watching this and you you know go out in the woods just take it home with you i know a lot of my subscribers do i know that but please you know keep the woodlands clean anyway that's where i was right there no leave no trace i uh, hope you've enjoyed watching the video today guys uh, sorry it's a short one but i am hoping to come out now a bit more uh, into the woods you know stuff like this that's what it'll be for a while until the laws are are allowed sorry the laws are relinquished then so we can go back into the woods for nights out as soon as that happens i'm out that that is a promise i cannot cannot wait for that um what i'm going to do at the end of this video i'm going to pick my favorite uh photos i've got uh, of previous wild camps and we'll just put them at the video at the end of the video just for some, something for you guys to look at and uh, watch all right well thanks for watching guys uh, take care of yourself stay safe and 
I'll catch you all soon. Toodles. <laughs>